Hi, today I'm going to show you how to do the uh, backup of the dry tech router and how to restore from the backup. This is useful in case you've done the reboot uh, by resetting uh, the router or on the web interface you selected the wrong option or there's something wrong with the internet and the support person asks you to do the reset of the router to the factory settings. So to restore it, how you had it set it up, you can log in. First, let's log in with the default password that we set it up. Okay, so we are logged in and we need to scroll down to system maintenance. Hopefully you can see it. Then we go to the configuration backup that it's here. Did it configuration backup okay let's click it and then we're going to do the backup i'm not going to select to protect it with the password but if you want you can do it okay backup so now the backup is done okay and now i'm going to show you uh, what to do in case you selected the wrong option one while rebooting so let's just show one more thing i'm going to show you that the uh, there is internet connection to this router at the moment let me connect the cable okay so if we go to ping diagnosis and if i'm going to select 8.8.8 uh, .8 .8, and i'm going to click run Okay, as you can see, we have the internet uh, at the moment, and for example, if you were asked to reboot the router, but you done the mistake and you selected the wrong option, so let's select the wrong option. The correct option is using current configuration, so it will reboot the router without restoring to factory settings, but if I go select this one, Reboot now. Okay, and now the the router is rebooting. And if you go to the command line or terminal, and if I do if config, there's no connection. Let me clear that. Okay, now the router is rebooting. And if I do IF config one more time. Okay, now we get the internet connection. That's the IP address of the our device that is connected to Drytech. But if you want to see the IP address of the gateway, you just type in root minus n. Click enter and that's your gateway. So this is what we need to type in. Okay. So let's replace 65 with one. So it's 1.192.168.1.1. Okay. And as you can see, it's on the different IP address. It means that was factory reset was done or that's your default username. Okay, the default username is admin admin and if it looks like that it means that there was a factory reset okay let's go to the ping diagnosis and system maintenance no that's not this ping 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 diagnosis and if I do 8.8.8 .8 run it's not going basically show anything it will show that the it's 
losing the packet so the internet is not set up so to restore the connect, uh, the settings for the dry tech if you have a backup you just go to the system maintenance you select firmware backup I mean sorry configuration backup you select configuration backup then we choose the file then we have the file that we saved before in the step before then we click restore and after a short moment it will show that the configuration has been restored successfully and now we need to restart the dry tech and we're going to go back to the command line and if we're going to do ping 192 168 165 it should start showing the when the router is coming back at the moment the router is rebooting that's why it says unreachable okay so now the router is restarted so we can stop that let's go back to the page if we go 65 and if we try to log in with admin admin it's not going to work because it has the password before we restarted it so let's type in correct password Okay, and if I plug in the Ubuntu connection now, and I refresh the page, and we have the internet connection. And to prove that, if we go to the diagnosis, then we select ping diagnosis, and if we type in the 8.8.8, .8 .8, It's going to show that we have internet connection. And as you can see, send packets 5, received uh, 1, lost 4. I don't know why. Let's try one more time. Okay, it's testing now. Okay, now it's much better. Packet sent 5, received 5, lost 0. And so this is how you do the config backup and restore the DryTech configuration. Thank you. See you in the next video.